back to my channel so this video is gonna be a reading vlog from the past like couple ish weeks I've been recording a lot of stuff but I haven't been doing a lot of readings so I'm gonna be including some of that footage from the past like three weeks at the beginning of this vlog and now finally in like real time it's Wednesday right now and I wanted to do a weekly reading vlog because I have a lot of stuff to talk about I mostly have just updates from what I've been reading and watching so this portion is going to be very chatty because I have a lot of stuff in front of me and I have a lot of stuff to talk about so the first thing that I want to talk about is my newest obsession and that is Yona of the Dawn. I read the first volume a couple weeks ago and I wasn't really sold on it. I was telling my friend that I don't like the whole incest plot line but she was like watch the anime it, it gets better and I was like okay I'm gonna try it I'm gonna take your word for it and oh my god was she right <laughs> oh my god was she right because that anime literally changed my life I ugh, my brain could not stop thinking about Yona of the Dawn every time I woke up I watched at least one episode before going to work when I went to sleep I watched like three four five episodes like the only thing on my brain for the past like three weeks or two weeks however long it's been has been Yona of the Dawn like when I close my eyes all I see is Yona of the Dawn because this show this anime this manga is so so good this series has all the tropes I love like childhood friends to lovers slow burn romance found family and a princess and bodyguard romance like hello what more can i ask for as literally everything and it is so 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 good like i literally cannot put into words just how good it is like as soon as i finished i don't think i even finished watching the anime i was like almost done with the anime i was like i need to buy the manga so i went on to write stuff anime and i bought the series the volumes that they had in stock because a lot of them were out of stock so I just bought the ones that were available and that <laughs> was 12 volumes so I have volumes god I don't even know how volumes 23 through 34 but there's a few like missing in there like they didn't have the full sequence so I have the 12 volumes here they're like the last few ones because <laughs> they're the, these are the only ones that they had so i have these 12 volumes which i cannot read yet because i'm currently on volume 9 so i will be able to read these at some point but for now they're just on my shelf and looking so beautiful and i am just oh my god my elbow just cracked but i'm so excited that i discovered this series because it's just so good and it's literally all that i've been reading i've been binging the manga I've been reading it on my phone and I'm currently on volume 9 which is on hold for six weeks at my library so I can't continue binging the series which is really frustrating but yeah I'm just so happy that I discovered the series because it is so 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 good I'm so happy that I listened to my friend when she said to just watch the anime and to just just watch it because it's so good I influenced one of my friends to watch it I showed her some clips from the anime she was like okay i'm intrigued and she started watching it and i think she's really enjoying it too because it's just so good like like this this what more can you ask for like it's just so good and i just <laughs> i love these characters so much i i love them so 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 much like he can choke but um Oh, he can also choke. Like, I'm just showing you the covers for all these because the covers are beautiful. Look at that. Look at this man. Hawk is probably my new fictional crush because look how gorgeous he is. And he's just so protective of Yona. And it's just, <laughs> it's just so, so good. So if you need a new anime, to watch please watch Yona of the Dawn because it is so 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 good so that's it for Yona of the Dawn if I keep talking about this this video is gonna be like 30 minutes long so yeah I have been binging Yona of the Dawn and I am also 
obsessed with spy family this this anime is so so good when i was sick in my covid quarantine i was like you know what i feel like watching something short and fun so i decided to start watching spy family and wow this is so so good it's full of adventure and there's a kind of like a found family aspect and it's just so surprisingly heartwarming and adorable but also being like kind of intense at some points that you're following a spy an assassin and a telepath after watching like three episodes of the anime i was like okay i'm obsessed i love this i need more of it so i bought the manga <laughs> i have seven volumes here these are the only volumes that are currently out right now volume eight is coming out soon but i don't have that one yet obviously so i have these seven volumes here and i have not read them yet because i've been in my yona of the dawn haze but um i will read these eventually if you don't know what spy family is about we basically follow this spy named twilight who is on a mission to basically stop a war and in order to slowly complete this mission he needs to pose with a fake family so he adopts this adorable child anya who is a telepath but he doesn't know that she's a telepath but she knows that he's a spy so and since now that he has his little child he gets a wife your and she is an assassin and the telepath knows that they're a spy and an assassin but they don't know that she knows if you have not watched spy family do yourself a favor and watch it because it is so so good so those are the animes that i have been watching and i have a few reading updates i think like three weeks ago at this point i started reading pride and prejudice and i have made decent progress like i've read this much so i'm not halfway done yet but i read like 75 pages so this is what i have been reading for the past like three weeks i have not picked it up in a while because i think this is just one of those books that i need to take slowly because it is a classic and the language and like the english is very difficult <laughs> to get used to like i've slowly gotten more and more used to it but it's still a lot for my brain to focus on so i will maybe eventually finish this at some point but this isn't my top priority and then the day before yesterday i started her body and other parties and i have read three of the short stories so far and they've been fine like none of them have really stood out to me like i thought that the husband stitch which is the first story i was really gonna enjoy but it was it was just fine like i would probably give each story that i've read so far like three stars like they were nothing that really stood out to me so yeah i've just been very slowly making my way through this the next short story i have is like 60 pages and it looks like it's gonna be about law and order which i don't care about law and order because i don't watch that show so i don't want to read 60 pages about a show that i don't care about but i'm just gonna take this short story collection slowly and just read like one or two stories a day because there's only eight of them and i've already read three so i'm almost done with it but this is again another one of those reads that i'm just gonna take very slowly and the last book that i have started reading but have not picked up in a while is the lost hero which is the first book in the heroes of olympus series i am 135 pages into this one and i haven't picked it up in a few days because i'm just honestly not that excited about it like i am excited about the series as a whole but this book is not really gripping me the way that the lightning thief in the percy jackson series did like i'm not as invested in this story and i am still at kind of like the beginning so i think i will get invested at some point but as of right now i'm not really like dying to pick it up again like it's just fine like i'll probably give it three stars once i do eventually finish it but yeah i don't want to say too much because i'm going to be doing a heroes of olympus reading vlog so yeah i'm currently in the middle of the lost heroes so i have started 
a lot of books and have not finished any of them, but one book that I know I am going to hopefully finish is a reread of one of my favorite romances of all time, and that is People We Meet on Vacation. This book is just so good. Like, I am so happy that I decided to reread this because this book is making me feel all of the things that reading should make you feel like I'm just so giddy and excited to be back with these characters and to be reading this story. Like, I just want to keep reading because I am just I just love this story so, so much. Alex and Poppy are just so beautiful and it's such a good friends to lovers romance and all of the angst and the banter and everything just building up is so, so good. I'm currently on chapter 8 and I am just dying to get back to reading this one because I just love these characters so much and I'm having such a fun time rereading and highlighting and annotating like I've written down like so many little annotations in the margins and it just makes me so happy that I decided to reread this one because this is exactly what I needed to help me with this reading slump just rereading one of my all-time favorites so very excited to keep reading this one and yeah those are all of my reading updates <laughs> it was a lot but um yeah currently in the middle of these four books and i will eventually continue reading yona of the dawn once my hold on the library comes in i've also bought some books recently because i cannot be stopped so i've been buying all this manga and i've also been buying books that i'm hoping to read for some videos that i want to work on so the first book that i have is the astonishing color of after by emily xr pan don't really know what this one's about <laughs> and then we have the stationery shop by marjan kamali this is a historical fiction and that's all i know and i've been wanting to read this one for a while and i'm so happy that i finally have it and the deckled edges are just so cool and the cover with like the gold foiling is beautiful. The next book I got is Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Maria Rilke. This book is so tiny. Like look how thin this book is. It is like 80 something pages I think. Like this is probably the smallest book that I'm ever gonna own. Like this is so thin it's kind of funny. And then I was at Target one day as one is and they were having a buy three for the price of two sale so I'm like okay I'm not gonna miss up on this opportunity to buy three books for the price of two so I got three books obviously I got The Secret History by Donna Tart. my friend read this recently and she was raving about it and forcing me slash bullying me to read it so I decided to buy it and we're going to buddy read this one sometime this week and just read a couple of, a couple of chapters a day so yeah I'm very excited to buddy read this one I don't really know what it's about but I know that some people love it and some people don't really like it so I'm very interested to see where I stand with this one and it's so floppy which I really like but it does have the bible thin pages which makes it a lot bigger than it actually is so this one's kind of intimidating but I'm excited to buy to read this one with my friend. And I also got Crying in H more. I already took off the Target sticker because it looked ugly. So yeah, I got this one. I have heard a lot of good things about it. And I've just been putting off reading it for a while because I just feel like it's going to be a really emotionally devastating read. But I do want to get to this one soon because I keep getting the audiobook from my library and then my loan runs out and I have to renew it because I just have not been reading it but I currently have the audiobook I have it for two more weeks I think so I want to try getting to this one soon and then the last book that I got I don't know why I got this one I got The Shadow of Kiyoshi this is the second book in the Kiyoshi novels series I have the first book back there and I have not read it but I decided to buy a second book why because the cover was stunning and it was on sale so i was like you know what i'm gonna buy it so that if i do eventually read the first book i can just immediately get to the second one and 
yeah i love avatar the last airbender as you can tell this was not planned but um yeah avatar the last airbender is like one of my top favorite comfort shows of all time so i'm really excited to eventually get into the kiyoshi books and learn more about avatar kiyoshi and then there is another one coming out about avatar yang chen which is also gonna be really interesting to read about so yeah those are all of the books and like manga that i have gotten recently because i have enough self-control but um yeah those are all of the little updates that i have for now it was really chatty but i just had a lot of different things that i really wanted to talk about so yeah that's it for now so i just realized that i never showed you guys what my new bookshelves look like so this is the new shelf that i got and i just feel like it looks so much more complete now like i feel like this wall just makes sense and that like my bookshelves as a whole just feel more complete like i don't know i'm just so happy with how it turned out and that i have space to, like properly separate all of my different books and yeah i just really love how it turned out and i'm so happy that i finally decided to just bite the bullet and get the skinny bookshelf that i have been wanting for so long so yeah just a quick little overview of what my bookshelves look like i am not completely satisfied with how they are organized yet because i feel like it's still a little bit chaotic i'm not really satisfied with like the colors of how everything looks or anything like that but i'm just happy that i have more space for all of my books so yeah these are my new bookshelves and i will be doing a bookshelf tour eventually at some point once i have everything organized the way that i want it to be but yeah this is what i'm working with for now and i am so so happy with my new shelves so this is my tbr shelf it is clearly not very organized because whenever i buy new books i just put them in front here on this shelf so yeah i just want to organize this a little bit and cut down a little bit on some of the books that i have here because some of the ones that i have are not at the like very top of my tbr like top priority or anything so i just want this to kind of reflect the books that i'm like dying to get to and there's some here and there that i do want to read eventually at some point obviously but they're not like the top books that i really want to read yeah first off i'm gonna move this out of the way sorry suki but you're in the way so pachinko i got this book like a million years ago it feels like and i do want to read it eventually but it's not at like the top of my list as far as books that i want to read because i haven't really been in the mood for like i think this is like a historical fiction type of book so yeah i'm gonna move this somewhere else i'm gonna move these out of the way because they're just taking up a lot of space i'm just gonna put these on the floor okay so yoke by mary h k Choi beautiful cover love this little moment here and how the hands connect like it's just just beautiful but i'm not really dying to get to this book i am not really in the mood to like read a really really sad book so this is not oh sorry kiyoshi <laughs> so this is not my top priority either so i'm gonna move this somewhere else emily radishkowski my body this is i think it's like a collection of short stories slash like a non-fiction clearly i started reading it as you can see by my bookmark and my highlighting but i just wasn't really in like the non-fiction e mood so yeah i just never finished reading it i do obviously want to get to it at some point like i do with all these books but i'm just not really in like the kind of essay non-fiction e mood the picture of dorian gray this is a classic and i have not been in the mood to read a classic because i'm in a little bit of a reading slump as i have mentioned a million times but this book is really short so i feel like i could get through it really fast but i just haven't really been in the mood to like read a classic and i know that i have this book on my shelf so i feel like it doesn't need to be on my tbr shelf because i just kind of wanted to go back to my classics shelf where it belongs so i'm just gonna relocate this one but i do want to get to this eventually but as of right now i feel like a classic isn't really gonna help with my reading slump okay the cruel prince by miss holly black 
this book. <laughs> I have a difficult relationship with this book because I've tried reading this twice at this point and I just have not finished reading it. Like I haven't really made it very, very far. The two times I did read it, oh, I don't even have my bookmark in here anymore. But yeah, I have not really been in the fantasy mood and a lot of people in the comments of the vlog where I mentioned this book so you have to really be in like the specific mood to get into this book because the first book is kind of like boring slash slow so you have to really be in the mood to get into this story so you can just get through it to get to the second book so yeah when I am in the mood to trudge through this book to get to the rest of the series because I know I will love this series hopefully then I will eventually read it but as of right now I'm not in the fantasy mood, so I don't see why it needs to be here on my TBR. Tilly and the Book Wanderers, or just the Book Wanderers, I'm not really sure what this book is called, but it's like the Page of the Co. series. It's a middle grade series, and it's really cute. Like, look at the cover, and I just think it'll be like a super cute and fun read. I've heard good things about it, but I just haven't really been like interested in reading this one recently. I low-key forgot that I even had it so I'm just gonna put this on my middle grade shelf along with this one the girl who drank the moon beautiful cover but again haven't really been dying to pick this one up so I just feel like this can just stay on my middle grade shelf and when I do want to read it I'll know that it's there so I'm just gonna relocate this one also somebody's daughter by Ashley C. Ford. I saw Noelle Gallagher read this in like a recent video and she really enjoyed it but this is kind of like a difficult to read memoir from what I understood from what she said about it. Like it's kind of difficult to read some of the things that this talks about and I'm not really in that reading mood right now so I'm just gonna put this somewhere else and oh god oh god oh god oh no oh my god okay let me fix that okay <laughs> okay so oh my rise of kiyoshi bookmark okay so rise of kiyoshi i started reading it a couple days ago i made it up to page what page 57 and i just didn't really continue reading it because it just isn't the kind of story that i'm wanting to read right now i thought i was really gonna like be immersed in this world because I love Avatar The Last Airbender. It's one of my favorite shows, but just not really feeling this vibe right now. I don't know why, but I do want to keep it here because I just want to have it on display because look how stunning she looks. Like, that is beautiful. So I'm just going to leave this here for display purposes. And yeah, I think this reflects better what kind of books that I want to read so I'm just gonna organize the rest of the books that I have here that I got recently that I am really excited to get to so let me just put all of these here okay I'm not really a fan of this staggering order that I have going on but it'll do for now and yeah this is more or less what my TBR looks like at this point in time these are all the books that I'm really excited to get to and I will get to them eventually when the time comes but I feel like this better reflects the books that I really want to get to, so yeah. <laughs>
Thank you.